What's up, family? Back with a quick video. Just ended my class for group. If y'all don't know, I'm a say out facilitator. That means I'm a substance abuse counselor. Somebody had asked me about uh, mental health. Was 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 I still planning to open a mental health agency with my with my wife and do some things as far as the mental health? Yes, my wife is still opening up a, a private practice. Uh, the mental health agency. Open up a mental health agency. I feel like you. To answer the question, and somebody asked me about it, I feel like it's something that you gotta have love and passion for, right? Uh, a lot of times with the mental health agency, you need to have some experience. I would say have some experience in the field before you before you open it. it just can't be about the money. Uh, yes, the mental health field you can make a lot of money. Um, you ask and make you make more money. With a mental health agent, do you then you will make in a uh, non-emergency medical transportation bill and Medicaid because you you know you get paid more money. That's why. Uh, but this is a whole nother series, a whole nother topic. We I mean we can make videos for days, and y'all probably still couldn't understand. Um, as far as opening a mental health agency, when I say mental health agency, often offering certain services. That's even if you open up a group home or um. If you open a mental health agency, offering therapy and peer support, if you just offer those two services. But there's so many services you can offer uh, with a mental health agency if the MCOs or the insurance providers have openings for you to apply for those uh, services, to, to render those services to consumers. But right now, they got something called uh, the PHPs, and that's considered... Healthy Blue, Wild Care, uh, Amira Health, United Health Care. That's another one, but then you still got your big insurance company, your MCOs, when you talk about Cardinal, uh, well, not Cardinal, more Via Health, Alliance, Trillium, East Point. And you can get contracts with all of these insurance providers and you can offer your services to. Uh, you don't need a degree it's just like opening up a business but it is a lot of stipulations policies and procedures you do have to have people in place that know what they're doing you have to hire people to put them in place to be able to to cover up the, uh to to make sure your documentation and your business is, is set up the right way because medicaid will come and get you if you don't do it the right way if you're not ethical and doing it the right way it's certain trainings you gotta have. I mean, I can go on the series, uh, throwing little tips out there about it. Um, but it's a lot of things you gotta have put in place. And if you don't, um, you can hire people. You can do it yourself. Uh, but some of the some of the things you're gonna have to hire people because you may not have the degree to be able to open up your uh, to uh, to render certain services. You just gotta hire people. Cause I know some owners right now that don't have degrees. But they hire people to cover them um, from that aspect. So, I mean, we can dig in that. Not on this video. I'm just, just talking about it. What type of uh, degrees, what type of people you have to hire to put in those places. And then, of course, you would need your outreach person. The person that's going to go out and actually build a program. And that's what I do. Um, I go out, I get clients, and I help build programs. That's that's another job that I do uh, in the field. Um so, yes, it's lucrative. Uh, I think peer support, just talking about it, um, billing hours, I think that the, the state pays out $48 an hour. Therapy, $100 an hour. Um, some services, you, you get paid $250 an hour. You know, but uh, it's, it's just like any other business. You got to learn and you got to be ethical and you got to be willing to help people or have people on your team willing to help people that's going to go out there and actually do the work so if i get enough comments on this video if i get enough likes on this video we can go on a, on a whole series about opening a mental health agency and some of the things that you you gotta have in place in order to be successful but uh nemt as far as uh finances don't have nothing over uh far as the money part, as far as uh, an actual mental health agency, uh, far as far as money. 
you know, but I don't really want to get and talk about money and stuff right now. In this video, I just want to ask the question was, are we still doing it? And just give an update on it. I'm like, say I'm asking a group. I'm still at the office. We just did a group. I got my big book right here. And, uh, how to do my groups out these books. And yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one.